This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Now let's learn how to use the Xcode text editor. The main tool you use to write code for an iPhone app or an iPad app is the Xcode text editor. When you click on a source code file in the project navigator, the source editor pane appears in the editor area in the center of the workspace window. The first thing I want to show you is code completion in the text editor. Code completion is a feature that shows symbols, which are arguments, placeholders, and suggested code as you type statements. Code completion can be really useful, especially if you're like me and forget exactly what the arguments are for a function. In order to show code completion, we'll scroll down to one of the methods. This one is called update string, and we'll turn it into a comment by typing a slash asterisk for the beginning of the comment, and below it, an asterisk slash for the end of the comment. Now the entire method definition is in green, and that means commented out, not effective. So what we're going to do is retype that method to show you how code completion works. So first we type a dash, a space, and start typing the word void, and as you can see, it's already telling us how to complete that word. We can tap the tab key to complete it. Another parentheses, and it showed us that we have matching parentheses. If we start to type update string, it already has assumed that's what we want to type, and if you hit the tab key, it accepts it. Now we're going to type inside the bracket. Start with our left curly bracket. Remember, we are going to be typing this phrase up here that we've commented out. So what we're going to do is press return, and you see that it automatically indented below the update string phrase and added the closing bracket so that we wouldn't make a mistake. So now as we type the next phrase, you'll see how code completion helps us. After typing self and a dot and the S of string, it knows we're going to be typing a string an equal sign, followed by T, and as before we even finish typing T, it's displaying text field for us. We can use our cursor to select it there. Dot, T, and it knows we want the NS string text. Double click it, or use tab, type a semicolon, press return. It automatically indents for you. Type label, well, it's already there. Just press tab, dot, text is already there. Press tab equals self period string. You can see how easy it is to type this code and how hard it would be to make a syntax error. So this is code completion and it's active by default. Xcode uses the text you typed as well as the context within which you typed it to provide inline suggestions for completing what it thinks you're going to type. You can accept inline suggestions by pressing tab or return. As you just saw, you also get a pop-up list of suggestions. You can click an item in the suggestion list or click the up and down arrow keys to select an item. And as you do so, the inline suggestion changes depending on what you selected. Press the escape key or control space bar to cancel a code completion operation. I explain later in customizing Xcode how you can turn off code completion if you want. You also saw automatic indenting, formatting, and closing braces. The editor indents the text you type according to the rules you can set in the text editing preferences pane, which I show later in customizing Xcode. It also uses fonts and colors for the various syntax elements, such as variables, constants, and comments. And of course, those settings are also in the preferences pane. After typing an opening brace, you can continue typing, and Xcode automatically adds a closing brace. Once again, that option is in the Preferences pane, as you'll see when we talk about customizing Xcode. Let's look at another feature called Code Folding. With Code Folding, you collapse the code you're not working on and display only the code that requires your attention. You click inside the ribbon, and you can see that it has isolated the view did load method. Click it, and it is now folded, so you don't have to look at it. We can do the same with all the other methods. And we're only looking at this comment and this method. All the others are folded. 
With code folding, you can collapse code you're not working on, display only the code that requires your attention, and keep from cluttering up and confusing yourself. Now, in order to look at the code that you've folded, you can open it up again by clicking the disclosure triangle. And you can see that it pops right back out. So we can open all these again as we need to. As you saw earlier, Xcode lets you split the editor area to show multiple files at the same time or to view multiple views of the same file. To open an assistant editor, you can choose View Editor Assistant. You can also click the Assistant Editor button in the middle of the Editor Selector buttons. To close the Assistant Editor, click the Standard button. To open it back up, click the Assistant Editor button. This is how you would edit a counterpart file, such as the .m file for a .h file. You can view and edit any portion of the file in either pane, and any changes you make in one pane are instantly reflected in the other. By default, the Assistant Editor pane appears to the right of the Source Editor pane horizontally, but you can change the orientation of the Assistant Editor pane to the Source Editor pane by choosing View Assistant Layout, for example, putting it on the bottom, or stacked horizontally. You can also open a file in a separate editing window. Double click the file in the project navigator and it appears in a separate window. And if you have a big monitor or multiple monitors, this new window enables you to look at more than one file at a time. You can, for example, look at the method of one class and the method it invokes in the same class or even a different class. For example, I can look at myViewController.m, myViewController.h, and hello world app delegate.m and edit in all three windows at the same time. To close each window, click the red button in the upper left corner. 